Trumpy, hey, how about a week up the west coast? Sunshine, bright, and lekker waves, bro. Uh, yeah, we're also going to head up and go check out the Nilo Comp uh, that's up in Lambert's Bay as well. So it will be such kiff times, man. Come jump in the van. The grip is packed for travel, and I'm scratching gravel to that blue ridge fall of the Hey Trumpy, it's your brother from another mother. Hey Trumpy. Check the bookies, dude. Check him out. Uh, hey, bookies! Bro! Oh! Oh! Eh? Yo, stick him in your mantra! No! Oh! Oh no! He's eating cousin Paul's! since Mossel Bay last year. So I just wanted to put it in perspective that kneeboarding not only is having an SA Champs in 2020, dude, we got to do a world titles in 2020 in a year where everybody else has had nothing. And I think that that's quite a cool bookend to what has been an extremely challenging year for the planet, for us as individuals, business owners and everything else. And so that alone makes me super proud to be in kneeboarding and I go, is there like a special hand on this kneeboarding thing? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but we're getting to have a world titles in 2020 and an SA Champs in 2020 and a very successful West Side Challenge. Sure, bro, that was pretty fun, eh? Like, like, like three foot waves. Yeah, so the comp is going to be on tomorrow. I reckon there's going to be some good waves, man. I don't know. 
stand Man going out back door with his hat on his hand I want you to tell my mama Who's here to ride and go And just yesterday when I broke my board, I can't tell you how many offers I had of people lending me their board from competitors to friends to whatever and that just shows amazing camaraderie. Yeah. The brotherhood, bro. This whole spirit that's in the knee borders, it's, to me it's the most core, non-glamorous part of our surf culture and I think maybe that's just what keeps it all flowing and the good vibes going. Nice Barry! Yeah. Been a great venue, seen really good events, you know, the WSL's even been here. So the fact that we're here in a COVID year, the Nilos are stoked. We're epic. We're stoked. Nice boating for him. Surfing black, another nice lip bash there. Rosie surfing great. To find the little one with the cup in it. So the nuggets. The nuggets. The waves are challenging, but there's some bombs to be had. Move to second. Oh, oh, 2 oh. And does not seem to be a fan of the priority system. Super fun, man. Good red. Water open. Just uh, grateful to see my dad in the water. Yeah. Bumpy takeoff. Nice opening turn back into the phone. Oh, big turn. Yeah. I want to say, like a more and my own bluff. Like a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Nice cut back. Nice cut back, Tim. I didn't get my sand drive from my kids today, otherwise. This is a little bit more slow, and yesterday was a bit slow, but still really, really good contestable ways. I think um, we're going to get some, some good scores. To move into first place, you need a score of. Smash it, yeah! Blue there. <coughs> yeah, little hooking left and right, it's been fun and everyone's been stoked and, and to me that's come out in the surfing as well. So yeah, we're loving it on the Vuskas. Uh, let me tell you something, this is um, this is proper contest wise, lacquer for contest, bro. Yeah, generally just an epic weekend man and uh, great surfing, tops, tops, tops. Change your quiver, get a thicker board, and Nilo now, Nilo forever. How's that child, bro? Bro, Bobby's wife can cook, huh? It's cute. Very good. How's that child? Classic, classic, bro. Like, yes. next level, yes. Organization, like, amazing. It's so exciting to be with these boys in the water. The camaraderie uh, is absolutely amazing. You know, that's what's so good about this, uh, about SA Champs. It's more about getting together and uh, just having a laugh with some good mates. Competitors, 
friends and the brotherhood of kneeboarding. So, Nilo now, Nilo forever. Uh, there's a bit of new blood this year, which is for me a really, really awesome thing to see. I'm so happy to surf with such amazing people, you know, like it's really a great community. I'm stoked to see a, a younger guys because we haven't had any guys doing kneeboarding in their 20s, you know, and I think we've got about three, four guys. So they're probably Yeah, yeah, you know I'm like, I'm, I'm, I think my next um, division that I'm going to is Coffin Dodgers or Fossils, that division. And I'm getting old, so it's, it's lucky to see these live dudes. Uh, that's some good work. Under the time. <laughs> good I'll, man. I'll come back. There's just incredible performances going on. So to me, the level this year, highest bar so far compared to the past. So that's a good thing for the sport. Okay. The day so far. So hey, yeah. Three out there. Backer, it's hard, difficult out there. It's super lumpy and bumpy. Yeah. But yeah, I think these guys find some ones in the end. I don't know if it's lack of heat. Okay, looking forward to it. Amped. It's going to be fun. What, what division is it? Coffin division. <laughs> How was that? Eh? Yeah, no, horrific. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, but. That was fun, eh? I enjoyed it, eh? Of ways out there. No, it was cool. Lots of fun. And respect to all the competitors, man. We've been. I think we've been putting on a real good show. Been very, 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 Between very, very guys, well contested in a lot of heats. Zero, seven um, points it's been very, it. very tight, Survey but it's also the conditions of they're pretty challenging. First, Black first. <laughs> no, Greg had an amazing, amazing heat, and um, and it landed up that it was a 7.37 for me and a 7.27 for Greg. Wow. Point one to Mr. Black. Nice. Good hope. Very great that you were out looking at Captain's last year. So it's cool to see all the oaks and have a jaw and catch up and surf some waves. It's been rad. I think we're just going to get better and better at this. It's, uh, it's the beginning of something really, really awesome. And uh, after a long dormancy, kneeboarding is back in the now. Nilo now. Milo forever. Oh! That was a six that way. That way was a six for sure. Hey, like I've spent all my time in the fucking pickup truck here. Okay, read up. And no comment. Eh? No comment. <laughs> no, of course, no. Mark, how was that, eh? Alright, they're uh, cold. But, yeah, um, yeah very cold. Lots of kiss, lots of oaks getting good waves. A uh, few oaks bitching, a few oaks mining. Mainly when they don't get the results they want. <laughs> There's some bombs coming through. Just made through there. Oh, so you know, oh. yoga is life. I've been going to a Jedi mine camp. <laughs> I found that, you know, when I got in there, the pressure was on. I just felt like I found an extra gear and, you know, just, yeah, you know, put everything into it. And I just want to thank all the people out there for, support, for the support, for the content director, for Gays Corner Surf Report, <laughs> and uh, ooh, living the life in Lambert's Bay. Roman out. Final day, we'll get some waves out of this, so yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. Everyone has been really pushing kneeboarding and uh, they're bringing momentum to, uh, to kneeboarding again in South Africa. The guys that are really driving the ship, really respect to all those guys.
know what? Lacquer the young oak, Chris Rosie. It's a lacquer story. It was uh, a really successful contest. We served some good waves, and uh, I'm really happy to have won. And, and I'm really happy for kneeboarding, man. I think that at the end of the day, kneeboarding is progressing, and we're really pushing it. So also respect to all of the guys that paved the way for me. Well done, I was really, really grateful and honoured to have served with them. So thank you. Yes, I Thanks, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Well, it's been an awesome, really awesome, uh, an awesome experience. It's been really cool. Thank you. Well, that was fun. See you next time. Very. And I've always been proudly South African. So to all those Australians, New Zealanders, Seppos, guys from the UK, Spanish, Portugal, Europe, even to the furthest island in Fiji, watch out. Just like the 2019 Rugby World Cup champions, the Springboks, we're following in their shadow. And sooner or later, when the day comes and we're at the World Championships, wherever it may be, we're going to take over.